Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. It is our second kick at the lower body cat this week. Uh, you are going to need heavy dumbbells, a mat, and you're also going to need something to put your back foot up on. So a little bench, step, even your couch. You're also uh, going to need something to tap your bum onto. So not sit on per se. Uh, it can be the same thing that you use to put your back foot on. All right, uh, we're gonna start with our warm up. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna do four exercises today. The first exercise is a lunge and a twist. So you're going to need space to do a lunge. You're gonna lunge back, keep that back knee up off the ground, and then twist to the leg in front. So you're gonna sit back, twist slightly, sit back, and twist. So you want to get the balance in the front leg and stretch out the back leg. The next exercise is a standing crunch with a squat. So you're going to squat down, stand up, stand all the way up into that bum cheek with a little twist at the top. And then the next two exercises, you're going to be on the ground. It's a bird dog, so we're going to wake up our glutes. So you're going to come into tabletop position. Squeeze your opposite leg, reach your opposite arm, squeeze, and then crunch. Squeeze, and crunch. So we're gonna do that 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with a lunge and twist. In three, two, oh, there we go, wait, uh, yeah, beep, beep, there you go. So lunge, Keep that back foot up, or sorry, back knee up. Twisting to the leg in front. So these are a little bit slower than a regular lunge because you want to get that balance and then twist. You also want to focus on sitting back into the front hip. So we're going to be doing Bulgarian split squats today. This is nice practice for those. Keep going. All right. Next exercise, hi Julie, welcome. Next exercise is a squat and crunch. Can everyone also make sure that they're muted? I didn't mute everyone, so please make sure you're muted. Sit down into your hips. Stand up nice and tall, crunch across. If you don't mute yourself, this is actually kind of funny. So if you don't mute yourself, every time you make sound, the video will record you. <laughs> so please make sure you move yourself. Sit down nice and low, stand up tall, crunch. Excellent. Come on now, we're gonna move into that bird dog. Come on tabletop position. Here we go, stay on the same leg. You're gonna extend the leg, opposite arm, squeeze the bum, and then crunch the elbow and knee together. Lengthen, squeeze the bum, crunch. Squeeze the bottom leg in. I really want your focus on waking up that back bum cheek, the one that's in the air. Reach. Good. Four, three, two, one. A little breather, shake up your wrists. We're going to do that on the other side. So opposite leg, opposite arm. Three, two, one, here we go, reach and crunch. Reach and crunch. So try to keep that pelvis neutral. Imagine there's a little teapot on your tailbone. You want to keep it even. Reach. If the crunching is not available to you, you can simply reach and then relax. Reach and relax. Three, two, one. All right, come on up. Round two. We're going to do a lunge and twist. Make sure you keep that back knee up off the floor. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge. Keep that back knee up. Sit into that front hip. Good. Connecting with the front foot, the front hip. Stretching out that back thigh. Good. Keep that back knee up off the floor. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to move into our squat and crunch. If you want a little bit more from the warm up, you're welcome to add a little jump to 
this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Squat and crunch. If you want to up the ante a little bit, add that little bit of a hop. Otherwise, sit down and stand all the way up into that bum cheek. So push that foot into the floor, squeeze the bum. Stand up tall, squeeze. Adding some rotation through the torso. Four, three, two, one. All right, one more time. Come back to the ground. Bird dog. So this time I really want you to focus on making a fist with that bum cheek. Here we go. Make a fist. Then release and crunch. Make a fist. Squeeze that bum cheek. Really wake it up. Got it. Reach, reach, reach. Squeeze that bum cheek. Wake it up. Three, two, one. All right. Give those wrists a break. We're going to do that on the other side. Same thing. Really focus in on that glutes. Three, two, here we go. Reach. And crunch. Reach. Extend through the fingers, extend through the toes, squeeze that bum cheek, hold your leg up with the glute. Good, when you reach, I want you to reach as hard and far as you can. Really wake up that glute. You can do it. Three, two, one. All right, come on up one more time. It's our last round through, lunge and twist. Here we go. Lunge back, pause with that back knee up, pushing into the front heel and the front hip. You got it. Check your abs. Relax your neck. Good. Sit down into that front hip. Push up through the front heel. Wake up those legs. Three. Two, one. Nice work. All right, squat to crunch is next. Remember, if you need a little bit more intensity, you can add that jump. Three, two, one. You can add that jump if you need to. That foot on the floor is active. You're pushing all the way up into that bum cheek. Nice work. You got it. Five, four, three, two. All right, come on down. Last time through these bird dogs. Really squeeze that bum cheek. It's your last chance to wake it up before we start. Three, two. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Gentle crunch. So as you lift that leg straight back behind you, I want you to think about pulling the bottom of your bum cheek and the top of your bum cheek together. Make a fist. Reach. You can do it. Five, four, three, two. Excellent. Rest. We're going to do it on the other side. Here we go. Four. Three, two, let's do it. So you may notice that one bum cheek is way more receptive to what you're trying to get it to do. That is normal, but not ideal. So today we're going to do a lot of single leg stuff. I want you to always start with that weaker leg. The leg that doesn't do what you want it to do. Start with that leg. Four. Three, two, one. All right. Come on up. Grab a drink and get set up. So, you're going to need something that you can put your back foot up on, whether it's your couch, a chair, or a bench. You're also going to need something you can tap your foot down or your bum down onto. Not sit on per se, just touch your bum down. All right, today we're going to do our elong, so every minute on the minute. We're going to do four 
them to you now, and then we'll get started. So the first exercise is a Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift combo, so Eastern European combo. So you're going to put one foot up on your little bench, couch, whatever, and you're going to hold weight in the opposite hand of whatever leg is on the ground. We're going to come into a Bulgarian split squat, stand up, hinge forward into a Romanian deadlift. Down, up, hinge, up. Yes? You're going to have six to eight reps. You have a whole minute for one leg, so no rush. All right? And the second minute, we're going to do the other leg. Then this is where it starts to get interesting. We're going to do a single leg squat. So in the past, we've done a box squat where we start our bum on the bench and stand up. This time you're going to start standing and lower your bum down and just tap it and stand up. So slowly lower, stand up, squeeze the bum. So these are tricky. Yes, and new and exciting. So you're going to have to get eight done per leg in the minute. And the next one is a reach through deadlift. So feet are about shoulder width apart. You're going to bend your knees. And bring those weights slightly back behind you, almost to your heels. So you're going to hold them like this. Bring them slightly back behind you, and then stand up. So it's almost like a kettlebell swing, but you don't swing. So you put them back, stand up tall. Then we're going to move into a sumo squat. So you've got your weights nice and high, knees and toes nice and wide. And then the last exercise, we're going to do a froggy bump. So you're going to be on the ground, knees open, feet wide. You're sorry, knees open, feet together. You squeeze and lift. So push those feet together, knees apart. All right. So we're going to start with that Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift, or Eastern European combo. You're going to have a whole minute per leg. All right. So, pick up your weight, stand on your non-dominant leg, so the leg that doesn't like things that much. Here we go. Scoot your foot up. We're going to go for six to eight. Here we go. Down, up, hinge, up. So that hinge only moves the hip. The leg is straight. The Bulgarian split squat, you bend the knee, sit into the hip, the hinge, you hinge at the hip, back is flat. Good. So don't worry about touching the ground in either of these movements. Only go to where you feel that strength. You want to sit into the hip in the Bulgarian split squat, not into the knee. So we've got 15 seconds. We're doing six to eight reps of this. Good. If you're all done, take a little breather. Switch hands. Switch legs. Here we go. We're going to switch legs. Same thing on the other leg. Six to eight. Here we go. Down. Up. Hinge. Up. Down. Up, hinge, up. Good, so two separate movements, but each one is its own entity. The combination of the two is a challenging endeavor for sure. Six to eight combos on this leg. Make sure you're sitting back inside the hip. In the Bulgarian split squat, push up through the heel. Same thing with the RDL, you stick your bum straight back, push up through the heel. Good, we got 15 seconds. Get those reps in. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, all right, we got our single leg squat next. You do not need to use weight for this one, so you've never done them before. I want you to pick up one leg. Here we go, you're gonna have a seat, touch your bum, stand up, squeeze the bum. So just gently sit back, touch 
rest of my back. Do not put any weight on that chair. Just tap your bum and stand back up. So it's a practice in sitting down slow, pushing yourself back up. It's not a box squat, it's a single leg squat. All right, we're halfway through. You want to get eight on one side, eight on the other. If you've never done these before, be nice to yourself. This is a new movement. Sit into the hip, push up through the heel. Ten seconds. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, reach back. Dennis, you're going to pick up both your heavy weights. Feet are a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart. You're going to sit your bum back. Bring those weights slightly back behind you. Stand up tall. So it's kind of like a swing, but not. So sit that bum back. Stand up tall. We're going for 16 of these. Sit that bum way back. Reach those weights back behind you in between your feet. Keep that back flat. Going for 16 reps. You have 20 seconds to go. If you're all done, rest. Otherwise, finish it up. Nice work. Good, so sit that bum way back. All right, we're gonna go into our sumo squats next. So on both your heavy weights, knees and toes wide, just like a sumo wrestler. Here we go, sit down, stand up tall, squeeze your back. Sit into the hips, good. So you want your toes wider than your knees, so here you can step out a little bit further. Yeah, even wider. Good, sit into the hips, stand up tall, squeeze your bum. Once again, we're going for 16 reps. Slow and controlled on the way down. Push into the feet, stand up tall. Nice. Slowly sit down, push into the feet, stand up tall, squeeze the bum. You have 20 seconds left. Good. Finish up your 16 reps, and then come down to the floor for our froggy pumps. And that was a silly name. So you want your feet together, knees apart, laying back. It's a bridge from this position. Squeeze your bum, push your pelvis up into the air. Push your feet together. So we're going for 16 to 20 of these. Squeeze and push. I suggest you take a little pause at the top, and then you feel into it, knees are wide. Feet are together, so your, the bottoms of your feet are touching each other. Bottoms of your feet. Open the knees up, squeeze and lift. Nice work. We're going for 16 to 20, really push the bottoms of the feet together. Totally different angle of pull here than a regular bridge. Good. Once you've done 16 to 20, you can grab a drink. Four, three, two, one. All right. Grab a drink, we're gonna move on to round two. So those are our exercises. Now you know how they feel. Can you pick up the intensity a little bit? We're gonna start once again with our Eastern European combo. So we've got our foot down, we're holding the weight with our opposite hand. We're gonna move into it, get your back foot up. In four, three, two, one. Here we go, sit down, push up, hinge forward. So that leg that you're standing on bends here, you sit into the hip, then you stand up tall, leg is straight, hinging at the hip. Good. Down, up, hinge, up. Don't worry about touching the floor, I want your posture on point. So you sit back into your bum, and you stick your bum straight back and stand 
stand up. We went for six to eight on this leg. We've got lots of time. Twenty seconds. Awesome. Finish it up. Rest if you're done. All right. Finish it up. We're going to switch legs, switch arms. Here we go. Get that back foot up. Other leg. Here we go. Down. Up. Hinge. Up. Down. Up. Hinge. You can do it. So in that Bulgarian split squat, you really sit into that hip, push up through the heel. In the deadlift, you hinge forward, sit your bum straight back. It's a double whammy here for the glutes and the hamstrings. We're halfway through the minute. Awesome work. 15 seconds. Woo! You're all done. Take a little breather, otherwise, finish it up. <laughs> Get ready for those single leg squats. All right. So, what I'd like you to focus on is just tapping your bum, shifting your bum back. Here we go. Back. Stand up. Back. Stand up. Try not to put any weight on that couch or chair. Just tap, stand up. So you've always got tension in that leg. You're never relaxing at the bottom. Then you're going to stand all the way up into that glute. If you need to tap the other foot down for help, do it, but not to help you, but with balance. All right, eight on one leg, eight on the other. About 25 seconds. Sit back. Tap the butt down. Stand up tall. Tap that toe down if you need to for balance. Tap the bum down. 10 seconds. Woo. Woo. Those are tough. So these are like a precursor to a pistol squat. That's what these are. All right, finish it up. Reach behind deadlifts. Pick up those heavy weights. Sit your bum way back, stand up tall. Sit back, bend the knees, stand up tall. So we're going for 16 of these. It's important that you shift that way back into the heels, back into the hips. So sit your bum back, bend those knees. Good. 30 seconds, let those 16 reps in, you can do it. Remember in the deadlift, the standing up is the action. So push into those feet, stand up tall. 10 seconds. I don't know about you, Kira and Sarah, you were here yesterday, but my abs are tired from yesterday. My abs are sore. Anyway, finish those up. We're going to do our sumo squats next. Knees and toes wide. Here we go. Sit down. Stand up. So sit into the hips. Yeah, that looks good. Knees and toes wide. Sit, 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 sit. Stand up. All right, we're going to get 16 reps in. Check your core. Imagine how you're going to come over your tummy. You want to make sure your core is braced, especially if you've got those weights up high on your shoulders. 30 seconds. You can do it. 16 reps. Once you're done, rest. Otherwise, finish up your reps. And we'll come down for the froggy pump. All right. 
two, one, finish it up, come on down. So it's super important that your feet are together, the bottoms of your feet are pushing into each other. Here we go, squeeze and lift. If you want to, you can hold a heavy dumbbell on your hips for extra weight. Push the feet into each other, the bottom of the feet, knees are wide, squeeze and lift. So we're doing 16 to 20 reps. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. 16 to 20 reps. We got 20 seconds left. Finish up those reps. When you're all done. Take a little breather, otherwise finish up your reps. 16 to 20, push the bottoms of your feet together. All right, three, two, one. Nice work, everyone. All right, round three. So we're gonna move into that Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift combo. You know what to do, your form looks great. Let's keep it up. All right, get that foot ready. Get that weight in your hand. Back foot up. Two, one. Here we go. Down, up, hinge, up. Down, up, hinge, up. You got it. So we're going for six to eight on this one leg for the whole minute. Sit into the hip, push up through the heel, and stick your bum straight back through that straight leg. Straight leg, straight back. Good. Connect through that front heel on your way down and your way up in that Bulgarian split squat. Really push into the heel. About 15 seconds. You're all done, rest. Otherwise, finish it up, shake it out. All right. Three, two, switching arms, switching legs. Getting set up. Three, two, here we go. Sit into that hip, push up through the heel. Your back is flat. You got it. You can do it. Strong glutes. Beautiful work, everyone. 30 seconds. Almost there. Finish up those reps. Woo! Yowza. Alrighty, finish it up. We've got about 10 seconds. We're going to move into that single leg squat. So, ideally one day we'll be able to do these without a box behind us. Alright, standing on that non-dominant leg. Setting yourself up. Here we go. Tap. Time to standing. So the objective is to keep the tension in the glute the whole time. So you're not just dropping and sitting. Sit low, stand up, squeeze the rock. Good. We're going for eight per side. Halfway there, ladies. If you can only get in six per side, I'd rather you do that. With good form, good focus. Remember, we need to tap that toe down for balance. You can. Try not to put any pressure on that other leg. Stand all the way up into your hip. Full extension of the top. Good. Finish it up. Four. Three. Two. Nice work. All right. Reach through deadlifts. Knees a bit wide. Sit back, stand up. 
Sit back. Stand up. So remember, we're reaching behind us. Standing up from there. Sit into the hips. Stand up, squeeze the butt. Sit into the hips, push up with the heels. Provide for 16 quality reps. You've got 30 seconds to go. Sit back, tap those legs slightly back behind you. Fifteen seconds. Good. Get those reps in. Sixteen reps. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Finish it up. We're gonna move into our sumo squats. So knees and toes wide. Here we go. Sixteen of each. So slowly sitting into the hips, standing up tall, squeeze the bottom. Make sure to push up through the heels. You got it. Chest is lifted, abs engaged. Thirty seconds. Going for sixteen reps. You can do it. 20 seconds. Get those reps in. Beautiful. Finish up your reps. Once you're done, come on down for your froggy pumps. So remember, we want the bottoms of the feet to push into each other. Knees are wide. Here we go. Squeeze and lift. Push the bottoms of the feet into each other. That's when you get your power from pushing the feet into each other. Squeeze and lift. You got it. Good work, everyone. 16 to 20 minutes. Use those glutes. Amazing. You've got just over 20 seconds. Get those reps in. Once you're done, take a little breather, grab a drink, rest. Nice work. Keep those feet pushing into one another. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. It's our last round of our exercises. I want you to focus in on your form, even if you're tired. And I want you to try and add one more rep. One more rep. That's it. That's all. So if you're doing eight, go for nine. If you're doing 16, go for 17 or 18. All right, we're going to get our back foot up. We're doing our Bulgarian split squat, Romanian deadlift. Back foot up. Here we go. Sit into it. Push up. Straight legs, combo straight back. Focusing in on your core, slowing things down if you need to. There's no need to rush. Keep those muscles under tension the whole time. We're going for six to eight on this leg, plus that extra rep if you can. Challenge yourself. Check your posture. You got it. You are amazing. Your legs are strong. Your glutes are strong. Ten seconds. I don't know if we're going to be able to walk tomorrow. It's all good. All right, finish it up. Switch arms, switch legs. Get set up. This is the last time we get to do these today. Here we go. Down, up, hinge, up. Good 
Hinge up. Sit into that hip. Stand up tall through that heel. Then hinge forward at the hip. Bump go straight back. You can do it. 20 seconds. Going for six to eight reps. Add that extra rep. Woo! Woo. Nice work. Finish it up. All right, single leg squats. If you really want to challenge yourself, try doing these without a bench or a box. All right. Here we go. You're going to pick one leg up. Slowly lower, come on up. Barely tap that bum down. Keep the tension in the glute. Stand all the way up. All right, we're going for eight on each leg. Or nine, if you really want to challenge yourself. We're halfway through that minute. Sit down into the hip. Push up through the heel. Full extension at the top. Good work. Ten seconds. Finish it up. Nice. Good, finish those reps. Here we go, getting ready for those reach back deadlifts. Good, there we go. Make sure you're reaching back behind your heels. Bum goes straight back, bend the knees, stand up tall. Good, keep your chest lifted. So you're sitting back into your hips. Good, reach slightly back behind you, get that extra range of motion. Sit into the hips, push up through the heels. Woo. You can do it by your 16 reps, plus a couple of extra bonus reps. Good work. Ten seconds. Awesome. Finish it up. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to go into our sumo squats. Knees and toes wide. Here we go. Push up. Sit low, slow. Push up through the feet. Lots of side bum today. This is the side bum combo here, the sumo and the frog. Good, sit so low and slow. We're going for 16 reps, plus a couple extra if you can. Check your abs. You got it. Just over 20 seconds, ladies, you can do it. 15 seconds, get those reps in. Woo! Good, five, four, three, two, one, all right. All right, broad toss, you're gonna push the arms of your feet into each other. Your bone is here to see if you can go the whole minute. Get those reps in. Work the whole minute. Push the bottoms of the feet into each other. Squeeze your bottom and lift. Squeeze and lift. Push the feet. You can do it. Use those glutes. Squeeze and lift for 30 seconds in. Can you make it through the whole minute? Challenge yourself. Good work, good work. 20 seconds, ladies. 20 seconds. You go close. Push your feet into each other. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. One, woo! 
but not 15 minutes of work. Um, we are going to do the first round is five zero seconds. So 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. The second round is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And the last round is 30, 30. Okay? We're going to do five exercises. I will show them to you now. So the first exercise is a clean and jerk or a clean and press. You're going to have heavy dumbbells in your hand. You're going to bring them down to your knees. You're going to pop them up, push them up over your head. So it's a pop and push. Okay, we're going to do five zero seconds of those. Then you're going to take one of your heavy dumbbells, 50 seconds of goblet squats, because we didn't do enough squats today, so we're going to do more. The next one is a devil's press. So this one's a doozy. You're going to put the, the dumbbells down, take your feet out, bring them in, swing them up. So those are this out, in, all right, and now we're going to do some shuffle jump lunges. So shuffle, shuffle, jump, shuffle, shuffle, jump. If you cannot jump, you can do regular lunges. And then the last exercise is our cross body plank. So you bring opposite knee to opposite elbow, crunching. All right, so come on up. We're going to get started. We're going to do five zero seconds in each exercise, and we have a little break. Then we do 40 seconds. So pick up those dumbbells. We're going to start with a clean and press for five zero seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. From the knees to the shoulders and then pop it up. So it's kind of like a little swing and pop. Good work. Challenge yourself. Pick up the pace, pick up heavier weights, whatever you gotta do. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Good work. 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, Rest, very small rest. All the squats are next, get that weight up high. Knees to elbows. Here we go. Nice and quick. Push yourself, earn that rest at the end. Quick and powerful. You can do it. Get that heart rate right up. Working hard. 20 seconds. You can do it.
Remember if you land on jump, it will look like this. You can do it. Stick with it. 30 seconds. Check in with that front foot. Woo! 20 seconds. You got it. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Hold on to that intensity. You can do it. Five, four, three, two. Nice. All right, come on down to that plank position. Last exercise of the round. Cross body planks. Crunching opposite knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. So it's not a mountain climber, it's a crunch. Your back is flat, bum stays down. Knee to elbow, crunch, crunch. Pull your belly button in, lengthen on the top of your head. Bum down. You got it. Fifteen seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo! All right. That's round one. How are we doing? We're gonna move on to round two. Same exercises, 40 seconds of work, more rest. So less work, more rest. Yay. All right. Good work, everyone. That was tough. Whew. So if you're not huffing and puffing like me, you really want to up the ante. Pick up heavier weights, move quicker. All right, we're going to get started in our second round. You want your heavy dumbbells clean and press. We're going to start 40 seconds of work. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pop it up, push it up. So this interval is shorter. That means you can, in theory, work harder. You're going to have more rest to support your work. So that means also that you can work harder. You should be nice and warm. Your metabolism is up and running. Once again, so you can work harder. 10 seconds. Get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Nice work. Nice effort. All right, goblet squats are next. You want your one heavy dumbbell? Once again. Challenge yourself, push yourself, get those reps in. Four, three, two, here we go. Quick and powerful. Go, 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 go. Elbows to knees. Twenty seconds. You can do it. Ten seconds. All the way to the end. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, general press are next. Remember if that whole movement hurts your back. You can do clean and press. Or sorry, ground to overhead instead. All right, team. Three, two, one. Here we go. Out, in. Swing them up. Bend the knees, put them down. Don't arch your back around your back. Please good mechanics. You can do it. Keep it up. Nice work, everyone. Hold on to that intensity. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Ah. So 
you want to work hard enough that when that rest comes, you're like, oh, thank God. All right, shuffle lunge. Shuffle lunge. It's hard to say it's like snuffle up a kiss. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shuffle, shuffle, jump. Remember, if you cannot jump, just lunge. Good work. Sit in slow steps. Pop up through that front heel. You can do it. 15 seconds. Show these lunges and squats. 10 seconds. Four, three, two. All right, last exercise of the round. Cross body plank. So plank position, crunching, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Keep your body in that plank position, bum is down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, here we go. Crunch. So remember, this is not a mountain climber, it's a crunch. So imagine you're on your back doing a bicycle crunch. That's the movement. Crunch it up. You can do it. Ten seconds. Bum down. Extend to the top of your head. Four, three, two, rest. Woo! Nice work. All right, we got one more round. One more round. We're gonna do thirty seconds of work. 30 seconds of rest. So what does that mean? That means you get to work even harder during the work interval because you've got so much rest time. And 30 seconds isn't very long. All right? Fair? Fair. All right, we're gonna do two and a half minutes work total, that's it. Lots of rest time. Let's do it. Pick up those weights. We're going to do that clean and press. 30 seconds, all in. Deal? Deal. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. All in. Get it done. Swing it up. Pop it up. Working as hard as you can. Earning that 30 seconds rest. Knowing that it's coming to support your next work interval. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, woo! Nice work. All right, 30 seconds. What to do with yourself? Breathe. Bring that heart rate back down. Rest. Prepare for goblet squats. All right, 10 seconds. Get that weight. Sitting down, elbows to knees. Three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds. Give it all you got. Sit into the hips. Push up through the heels. Ten seconds, ten seconds, you can do it. Four, three, two, one. Woo! -hoo. All right. Here comes the fun ones. The devil's breast. So, 
strong legs. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Shuffle, shuffle, jump. Quick and powerful. Get those reps in. Work hard the whole time. Go, go, go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, everyone. Last 30 seconds of work. Let's do it. Let's make it count. This is it. Cross body plank, that plank crunching opposite knee to opposite elbow. It's just like a bicycle crunch. 10 seconds. Give it all you got. Four, three, two, here we go. Keep that bum down. Lengthen out the top of your head. Keep that bum down. You can do it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo <sighs> nice work, sweaty friends. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us.